Hey, I just opened up the studio doors and I'm waiting for my friends to get here so we can do something fun on this beautiful Sunday. Let me get down here and see if I can find myself and see if I'm here. Yeah, there I am. Okay. All right. Hello, Betty. You are always the first one to comment. How do you do that? Hey, Brenda. I'm so glad you're here. It's gorgeous Sunday. And Opa's back with me. We just had our, um, our March paint party class. We painted this right here. I painted that live. Where am I? I'm backwards. Hello, Becky. Good, Betty. I'm glad I need more. I need everybody to watch for me. Thank you. Hi, Robin and Jody and Norma. All my friends are getting here. Oh, I'm so happy. This is the craft I've been wanting to do so bad. And um, there was one last piece I couldn't find. I finally found it. Hi, Geneva. Um, if you don't know, I am Lindy Tate of Tater Buggin. And... Um, I just am so excited y'all are here this afternoon. I, was, I wasn't going to go live on my tater bugging page because I did the painting class at 2. And then I thought, why can't I? There's no rule. Hey, Rhea's here. My bestie's here. Hey, Cindy, Tammy, and Marlene. Hi, Rita. Oh, I love to see y'all's sweet names coming up. There's my sister in love, Anne Marie. She is one of our moderators, and Opa is one of our moderators. They're great at um, telling you, giving you links, and answering questions, and all that. And passing the tater artist, thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. Norma, don't worry about that. I always say if you can't make it live, uh, it's, you know, it's no big deal. It's easier to paint when you can pause it or fast forward or all that. I'm glad you did too, Rhea. Y'all, Rhea has an amazing YouTube channel. Her video, videography and editing skills are amazing. She doesn't live here anymore. She used to be my trainer here in Memphis. And um, so she has moved to Clarksville and is on YouTube. Um, Rhea, would you mind if, would you just comment a link to your YouTube page in case anybody wants to go check it out? It's wonderful. Thanks, Kelly. I hope y'all will like this. I saw it and I love it. I'm going to give all the credit to Wendy at White Sparrow Living. That's the name of White Sparrow Living. Why did that just leave my brain? Yeah. Um, so I don't know if y'all watch her on YouTube, but I think she does some awesome stuff. And when she did this, I knew immediately I've got to try this. So I take no credit for this one. I'm going to do wording a little bit different than what she had in her particular one, but we're going to have, I'm going to give you options on it. Um, so Opa, what is that? Tell me what that means. What's that? That's so cute. Are you having coffee? Hey, Judy, you some of these sweet women are getting a double dose of me today because they were in class at two. So, good afternoon, Charlotte. Heaven's here too. Everybody's here. Judy, thank you for the stars. Man, y'all are wonderful. Okay. I just love spending time with y'all. You make me happy. Um, so, I, you're going to need four of these four by four Dollar Tree frames. And... I had gone to mine the first time I was in there. I, I found them, no big deal, but there were only three. So one more is what I've been looking for. I don't think they'll be hard for y'all to find. I really don't. It was just one of those fluke things that, that I had trouble finding one more, but I've got it now. We're going to have, let's see, we're going to have frames, chains, sticks. Uh, so this is, this is going to be interesting, right? <laughs> my sweet taters are in the house. Yeah, hashtag sweet taters if you're in my tater bug and sweet tater bugs group. Artists, I'm so glad you love your sweatshirt with that snow you're having today that you probably need a sweatshirt. Um, you're going to need, also, you're going to need some of this Dollar Tree chain. If you have any leftover from a um, an earlier project you've done, 
you, you'll only need one pack, but if you're like me, I know, Opa, we always we have to be on the hunt. and made it! I got the sweetest note from Ann Friday asking me if I was going to go live because she needed a tater bug and fix. It made me so happy. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to need two of these. I had to have two because I didn't have any of the chain. Oh, heaven have you. Oh, good. Yay. Okay. What else? Oh, the other thing you're going to need, you can use a mop handle from Dollar Tree, or you can go in your yard and get a big stick. And we all know I'm using up everything I can from my crepe myrtles that y'all know what happened. I'm not even going to say it again. Okay, I think I think that's it. I, I had to get all my stuff together, so we'll get started. Oh, hey, Moidle. It's not, it's not Jody. It's really Moidle. Hi, Lissa. Yeah. And Marie uh, Moyle says it's her, it's not Jody. I don't know how she got a hold of his phone. All right, because like I said, you're gonna need four of these. And it does have, um, I don't know, it, it almost looks like uh, it's dust or something that was in every one of these. So it must be just a thing having to do with this particular brand or this frame, but I just get a baby wipe. <laughs> no, I don't let him anymore, Norma. I told him, you stay away from my trees. Uh, but I tell you, I went down to the, he put, he took a drug him down to the road to be picked up. And, um, I kept going down there like three days in a row. My neighbors would, I'm sure, see me trot down there and hi Celinda and get more sticks I've got so many sticks I am not wasting those beautiful pieces on my trees so okay yeah just wipe it off with a, a baby wipe and we're gonna now what was it I said the other day not I was supposed to say deconstruct I said <laughs> I'm decomposing something no you're not I'm just cleaning it up here. We're going to take it apart and make something pretty out of it. I got so excited when I saw this. Hi, Clarice and Mary Jane. <laughs> uh, so, Linda, I'm just getting started. I haven't even told y'all what we're making yet, but we're going to dismantle four, <clears throat> excuse me, four of these little four by four Dollar Tree frames. And if you're just getting here, I hope. Uh, at 2 o'clock today was the paint class that stays up forever. We painted the floral over there that you can paint any colors you want to. We had a great time doing that. Okay, now, I'm just going to put some chalk paint on this. And if you're just getting here, um, thanks, Ann. I, I, I love doing that trellis bunny with y'all. That was so much fun. And Christine, hi. Um, I saw this. This is not my idea. Uh, and I'm really, hers was so beautiful, I'm not even really tweaking it. It it was too perfect. It was White Sparrow Living, Wendy at White Sparrow Living did this. And I just, I had to share it with y'all. And I wanted one and thought y'all might want to make one too. Absolutely, Opa. The classes are always available. You have access to any of my classes for eternity. So, uh you can sign up for those on the, um, at taterbuggin.myshopify.com. In our shop, you'll see art classes. All I'm doing is putting a, a light coat of um, folk art white, yeah, cottage white chalk paint on this little frame. I'm going to get it covered up. You know what? You can still paint that cow. Who said that? Celinda, that's, uh, that was last month. Am I right? Yeah, that was February. And it's all there for you. We painted the cow. You, you have access to the private uh, group page when you sign up. And you'll have the instructional video. I always try to throw in a bonus video that's either a craft or another painting that's along the theme that month's theme. So we did a gnome 
in November. We did a snowman family in December. We had January's hand lettering class that people are still signing up for that one. And there's a lot in that class. I mean, it's a, it's a great group of people and support. Uh, links and tips and tricks and then we did the cow last month and we're doing that floor we did that floral this month we haven't done the bonuses yet though but i'll have some fun something along that floral theme before the month is out and we haven't even decided what april will be yet okay here we go we're just um, you know, the light, just put light coats so they'll, it'll dry and it'll take the second coat better. We're going to do three light coats of white chalk paint over this. Oh, Vicki, I cannot take any credit for creativity on this one. I saw Wendy at White Sparrow Living do it and it's one of those that, you know, the only thing I'm changing from hers is I'm I'm putting a little bit different wording on mine. There will be a little bit of lettering. Um, so I think this is going to make a really pretty home decor piece that you'll be able to change out on a whim whenever you want to so easily. And we'll, well, I'm going to get to that. Let me get this paint on here. So... Yeah, so that's just a light coat. Make sure I got inside there good too. Cover up that gold. These frames come in, let's see, it was black or gold. And I wanted to get the gold because it's easy, obviously easier to cover um, with the paint. So look for those. I know they, they usually have a ton of them at the Dollar Tree. It just so happened that I bought the last three one of my stores had. So I had to go on the hunt for one more. And I kept wanting to do this with y'all. Now, she did it in a more Easter theme. But I think you can take this idea and go so many different directions with it. that I just had to have one. And y'all probably know I have a booth at Southern Vintage Company here in Bartlett. And um, so there may end up being one. Yeah, Julie has taken over your phone. <laughs> um, there may end up being one in my booth there. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick. Hey, hey, Debbie. Trish is here. Oh my goodness. Hey, Trish. Trish and I have been best friends since we were 13 years old. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Jody, I think she is. I think she has a White Sparrow Living page on Facebook. I don't know that she um, is on. I don't think she goes live on, on Facebook at all. Pretty sure of that. But she has a YouTube channel big old YouTube channel, and um, I just, you know, there are those that, you know, you, your style just kind of clicks with, and um, so many of her things that she does are just kind of my style. They speak to me, and uh, so this one jumped out at me, and I was dying to try it, and it's way more fun to try these new things with, you know, a hundred of your wonderful friends not at a hundred yet but i'm hoping i'm hoping we can get more people here today but it's a beautiful sunday and uh you know i can understand not wanting to be inside today oh jennifer thank you so much for coming over here to see me live i appreciate that um i've gotten to where i post more on facebook so if you want to check out our Facebook page, Tater Buggin, um, and see what you think and give us a follow over here too. I appreciate, I appreciate you being here, every one of you. 
Hi, Tina. <laughs> Elizabeth, I can't wait to see. I know it's going to be beautiful. You've probably already whipped out two or three of them. Elizabeth was in the two o'clock class. Thank you, Opa. You're so smart. I'm telling you, I've got great moderators here, y'all. And I promise you're not gonna have to sit here and watch paint dry the whole time. I promise, promise, promise. Um, Janice, we yes, we can we can do that. I need to get that one. Um, I need to get that uploaded when I did the trial run to see what people wanted the most. Um, there were no orders for the V-neck. And I just got to pick up this V-neck. Another a different printer has to make those. And I picked those up Friday, this one up Friday. Um, so I'll be able to get that uploaded in the shop. So I'm glad you I'm glad you're interested in that. I'll definitely add that. And if you were at my last live and missed the post last night, I did get the new items in the shop yesterday. Um, the, the triple crosses and the leaning cross. I don't think you can see them in my background there. They're right over here, so. Uh, but they are in the shop. Okay, just looking for any streaks or any places I missed. Oh, yeah, Moito made it there for real now. Yay. Okay. And if you're new, you know, in our shop, we've got um, unfinished wood kits. We got all kinds of those. And oh, if you can see in the background, that's, that's Tater Town done up like birdhouses. Over here, we have them in a more traditional way. Hi, Lindy from Australia. I'm so happy you're here. I'm glad you you come back. What time is it? What day is it in Australia? Where I am, let's see, it's 4.15 here in Memphis. I always have a hard time keeping up with time zones and everything. Hi, Leslie. All right. After this part, y'all, I think it'll go fast, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. I needed one that wasn't already done so I could show you the package and what to look for at Dollar Tree. Okay. Hello, Lynn. How are you today? Always so sweet. Okay, one more light coat. And the boring part will be done. 9.15 Monday, wow. You're not at work, are you? Okay, this, yeah, this I'm just gonna lightly touch. This is uh, covering great. Yeah, that looks good, and it just, you know, changes the whole look of that little plastic Dollar Tree frame. It's amazing what adding a, a little bit of chalk paint does to stuff, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to hit these edges. Yes, Opa, thank you. I was going to mention that. Uh, thank you so much for saying that. Lee just got down there to Meridian to um, be with her her very best friend who's fighting for her life right now. And uh, my heart has been broken for them. And I know, I know Lee is, it's a hard day. It's a very hard day. And she's just sitting at her bedside holding her hand. Okay, Teresa. Yeah, I'm in the southwest corner, and you're in the northeast corner of Tennessee. What what uh, what city are you in? I love that. I always call that the pretty end of Tennessee. We're on the 
it's not so pretty here, but I mean, as far as the landscape and everything, it's very sad. I can't, I can't even, I told her, I just can't wrap my brain around it or how I would cope with that. It's horrible. Okay, that's done. Three coats. So that's all we've done. Three coats of white chalk paint on your frame. Now, a little bit of, little bit of heat because we're going to do the next thing to this little frame. Yeah, um... what I love about all you ladies. I mean, it's y'all are so supportive and kind and generous. Yes, Jody, all four frames just like this. Then grab if you want to use a paintbrush and black paint, that's fine, but I'm going to use this just this paint marker. Yeah. I'm sure I got it at Hobby Lobby. In black. All right, now all we're gonna do is just lightly touch these edges. Let me get it going better. Um, to make it look a little distressed. Not a solid line, you know, we just want it to look kind of chippy. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm doing. You know, like the paint has scratched off these, these edges a little bit. Okay, wait, I was telling her no, no, no. Okay, maybe you... Y'all are talking amongst yourselves. I'm glad. Oh, you thought I was... <laughs> Y'all thought I was sipping paint water. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. One day I did put my paintbrush in my coffee cup. And so, but I took it to the kitchen after that. I was scared. I'm having my afternoon cold coffee. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a black paint pen. <laughs> That was funny. Y'all were yelling at me, don't drink it. <laughs> oh, I might do it. Y'all don't know. Mm. And I'm just doing it, you know, where on the, the edging, all the little edges of the, of the frame. So it just looks like it's chippy in places. Yeah, Trish knows. <laughs> and Rhea knows too. <laughs> it's so me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was teaching a, a, you know, we did those quarantine classes for just free on the page. They're still here, but I was doing them one day and the whole end of my brush fell off into the floor while I was painting. <laughs> And Trish thought that was really funny. <laughs> uh, Renee, you're in Australia too. Wow. Okay. That's so cool. Oh, Joyce, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's terrible. Um, yeah, cancer. Oh, cancer is, I've lost so many people to it too. I, I think we all have. Lynn, thank you so much. Y'all, the best thing is when y'all tell somebody about um, my page or my classes or whatever. You told somebody at Dollar Tree about it? Is that what you're saying, Lynn? Uh, okay. 
So, that's what we have. And through the magic of television, I have all the others done for you. Aren't you so glad? <laughs> there was no way I was going to let y'all have to watch me paint and distress four of these or we'd be here all day. Y'all wouldn't make it. So, that's what we've gotten done so far. Now, we're going to get out some... I just bought some black cardstock at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna take the little backing that we took off the frame and trace it out. Um, I'm gonna use, I think I'll use my white chalk pencil to do that right here. Thank you, Ann, for, for telling your friends that I'm on. We're going to need four of these. I tried to really, really prep for this one so that you wouldn't have to watch all the boring parts. Did I miss somebody else? Did somebody else have a loss? Marlene, your Dollar Tree had cardstock? Wow. Wow. You did, N Nelda, who, what, did you, do you know her name? That's so cool. I can't believe y'all tell people about me. Y'all are very sweet. Uh, errands. Okay, that's fine, Lori. I understand, life goes on. Hey, Deanna, you're, um, uh, kudos to those of you who are in the two o'clock class and you're coming back at four. I appreciate y'all, I mean it. All right. I guess I could have had this part done, but I thought we'll just do it together. So I know sometimes y'all have said you'd rather us do them, uh, do it live instead of having it too prepped so you can watch how to do it. But you see, I just used uh, a white chalk pencil and traced out that backing. And I'm just gonna cut right inside the line here. And this is what's going to go inside the frame. But if you want to make this, oh, uh, let's say it's a, a, a particular room of your house. You don't have to use black. You can use a floral. You can use the paper that looks like Nelda did. That's so sweet. I don't, I've always said, you know, like on social media, I'm going to be who I am because I can't be anybody else. And, you know, not everybody's going to like that. Not everybody's your people. And I get that. Um, and if I'm not your cup of tea, I understand. And, you know, there are plenty of other crafters out there. I know, I know you could find ones that, that suit you fine. But I'm just going to be who I am. And so, yeah. Carolyn wanted me to be her? What are you saying? Carolyn is Trisha's sister. So I've, I've known them all my life. Her family's my family. They're my second family. Oh, Carolyn wanted me to be her when I'm online or like in person? Because... No, I'm going to be me, Carolyn. I got to be me. Oh, Lynn, you, will you please share those in the group or on in our uh, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs group? I'd love to see it. I would love to see it. I always want to see. If y'all aren't a part of that group, um, I wish you'd come join. It's just a place where... If you follow me, if you follow Tater Buggin on Facebook, um, you can just get together and you show what you're making. It doesn't have to be something I've made. Show me all the things you're making. Uh, tell me what's going on. If you just want to uh, post and ask, ask for prayers, you're going through a hard time. They're the sweetest group of ladies you'd ever want to meet. Okay, 
So now we have our four pieces here. We are going on mine. This is where you, your creativity comes in and you're gonna do this part your way. And I'll tell you, on mine, I'm doing it this way the first time, but I'm gonna switch this out probably with the seasons. My Dollar Tree had um, white chalk writers. I had never seen them there before. So I thought, I have some already, but I thought I would try this live. Um, and just that way I can review it before y'all go out and buy it. We'll see if it works. Jody, thank you for that. You're, I think, I think every one of you is a wonderful person. I've had, I know my time's coming. I know somebody, look at that. That's a big old fat tip right there. And then, is that a, hold on, hold on. Is this a skinny tip? Maybe not. Okay, well, at least y'all know it's got a fat tip. So I can't use that on this one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use that on my chalkboard in the kitchen, though. So you learned that. Now i got to find my white paint pen. I think it's down here, maybe. If not, I swear I was not, I didn't want to get up from the table today. And I was being so prepared. Here we go. So I got this one from Hobby Lobby. Me too, Betty. Me too. And, you know, my thoughts are on it because a lot of the crafters will get that one person. There's a thousand million who are fantastic and so sweet, but you get that one who's just got to say bad things. And um, they're not your people. So... You know, if that's the case, move right along. If you don't like the way I talk or the way I look or what I do, I get it. Not everybody likes that. Oh, it wouldn't clean off, huh? I've so far I've been lucky um, on mine in the that I have in the kitchen that it, it erases pretty good. I haven't had any problems with that. I decided on mine, this is where I, I didn't do exactly what she did. Um, I decided what I wanted my four to say. Let's go with, I was just trying to think how I wanted to lay it out. I don't have to get some more out of here. Worst comes to worse, I will use white paint. Yeah, this isn't showing up on the cardstock. So I'm gonna use my white paint, which is fine with me. I tend to do better with that anyway. So plan D. I didn't know I was gonna have trouble with the marker so much. Hi, Lynn. You know, I wondered that, Judy. You know, it's like they've got to announce their departure and um, get their point across if that's what they're trying to do. I, I don't quite understand, but you know, if I don't like something on TV or, you know, on the radio, I just change it. I don't call the radio station and tell them why I hate that song, you know? <laughs> okay, what I'm painting here, I'm just gonna paint on Be Still. This is where those lettering skills can come in handy when you don't have a Cricut or your paint pen doesn't work. <laughs> but I, I actually prefer to do my lettering uh, with a paintbrush and paint just because that's the way I taught myself to do it. I think it would have been a little faster uh, to do the paint pen, but it's okay. It is okay. And you know what? If you mess it up, cut another piece of cardstock. Uh, 
Um, this one, if you have been in the class, I love these. It's A-I-E-X, all capital, on Amazon, and I posted a link to them, I think both on the, my page and in the class, on the class page. And my favorite is either this number one or number two. I ruined my first set, my favorite paintbrush. I have two sets of them. There's 10 in the pack. Let me see if I can find the one that I like the best that I messed up. That's a number two. The number two is what I like the best. I put a little dot on the end so I would remember. So I haven't even opened that one yet. I just grabbed this one. It looked close to it and it's working good. All their their detail brushes for most of them are they're smaller brushes. You'll get a little fan brush in there um, with it, but I have tried so many different brushes for lettering, and this one has just been my absolute favorite. So much so that when I messed up that other one, I just went on and ordered another set. They're not expensive at all. I don't buy expensive brushes because I'm I'm hard on the brushes. Okay, so we've got Be Still. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to try to go faster here. I love, it's so relaxing for me now, Janice. I, I, it used to, uh, it made me nervous in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, and if you want to, like, if you wanted to take your white chalk pencil and write it out first, and then go over it. You can do that so easily. Um, and it just is relaxing to me now. And that is, it's a large class and I'll tell you, I've been trying to tell the people who have been recently joining because it was back in January and we're still active in there. So there are a lot of posts, um, but you can just go to, I think there, the tab at the top either says more or media. And I learned with one of, one of y'all uh, the other day that when she looked at it on her iPad or her iPhone, it was completely different. I had never looked it up on either of those. I used my laptop, and so I had to go look it up the way she did it, and she couldn't find those tabs. I can only find them online, so there's one says more, one says media. Click that. You'll have the choice. There'll be a drop-down menu, and just choose videos, and the four videos that I've done in that class will be right there. And if you just scroll all the way back to January, the very beginning, um, you'll get all the links for tips and tricks and um, free downloadable practice pages. It's all about practice, y'all. That's all it boils down to is practice. And you'll get that muscle memory and um, it, it's gonna take time. You, it's not like I can you know, just teach you, oh, this is the magic way to do it. But I can sure show you the, the ways that I have learned and um, share those with you. And if you do that practice, Anne-Marie has been diligent with her practicing. And oh my goodness, her lettering. I've seen so many of y'all in that class. Now, we started in January. And like Lynn said, she's already doing, um, you know, writing poetry in her own uh, lettering. She can do it herself and with confidence, I'm sure. So, you know, they're they're two months into it and they are really reaping the benefits. Elizabeth is too, I know, I've seen hers. Okay, and no. And I like the look of these just being very um, loose. Hey, there's Miss Judy from the Crafty House. How are you doing? I watched her make those. Um, I watched her make those stick carrots. How perfect is that for me? I've got all these crepe myrtle sticks, so I'm gonna be making some of uh, Miss Judy's carrots probably when I get off of here. I can't wait. I'm gonna try her little ones first, 
And then I got distracted because she was on, her family was on Family Feud in 1989. And it's on YouTube. YouTube has everything. So I had to go watch Miss Judy and her family on Family Feud. And it was so good. They're $10, Joyce. And you have unlimited access. You know, you'll have, like I said, the ones in the hand lettering class are still doing it. It's still going on. So, hey, Bonnie. See, somebody else watched you on Family Feud. Oh, we love Miss Judy. That was fun. And they won. A oh, spoiler alert. Their family won. They did a great job. Thank you, Rhea. Thank you so much. You have beautiful lettering, too. I know that. Beverly, I have... Um, put, I have chalk painted, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to talk while I letter, and I, cause I'll put the wrong letter down. I chalk painted four of these four by four frames from Dollar Tree, did a little easy distressing with a black marker. We cut out some black cardstock and that's where we are right now. And I'm going to show you what, how we're going to finish this up. Her brother's laugh was great. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was so funny. And Ray Combs gave him a hard time. And he took it like a champ. I mean, great sense of humor. Okay. Okay. So, we've got be still and know that I'm God. On our fourth one, you could put, you know, you could put Psalm 4610 on it. Or, what I decided at the last minute to, I wanted to do is, I'm just going to get a little brush. You can do this with your finger, too. I've done it before when I make crosses. Um... And it looks so cool to use your finger to do this, but I thought I would just make it real quick with this little brush that it's another brush that's in that same. No, no, this was a this was a set master. It's a fine touch from a set from Hobby Lobby. I'm just do a quick cross. And I just love that it pops like that on that black. But think about it, y'all. You could take um, some pretty springy um, scrapbook paper. And, you know, I don't, you could put the bunnies in it for right now if you wanted to. You could, it could be anything. You change this out for fall, uh, Christmas, could write a word, hope or love. Anyway, I can just see this going all different ways. Now, because I, I really like this matte look, I'm not going to put the glass back in the front because, but I may, I'm just going to slip it in behind this. Reassemble. Now, I've never done this, y'all, so I've got to, we got to take this off the back. I'm going to try not to, oh, that was easy. Okay. And just put that back together. We're going to put them all back together like that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get them all back together. There he is. There's that man. There I am. 
It's to squat down. <laughs> to squat down to see you where I'm. There I am. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. I had all this prep work done, and I'm still. I feel like I'm still going. It's 45 minutes in, and this is as far as I've gotten. So, I might need your help. I don't know. What? 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 There's that man. What? <laughs> hey, Judy. Debbie. I just don't want to rip off the whole bag. You tore it up. I tore it up. I'm, I'm, I said the other day I was decomposing something. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Hey, Rhea Massey. Rhea's here. Your hey, sisters. Rhea. Both your sisters are Cindy here. Cindy Branch. Emery's there. Mm-hmm. Heidi. Karen. Look at all our friends. Karen, it is tater bugging. Sweet tater bugs. Tater bug and sweet tater bugs. Robin. Susie Gramps. I was going to get him a sweet tater bug t-shirt, but he passed on that. I don't know why. Why does you want to be a sweet tater bug? Because you're sweet enough for me. <laughs> I got to go. See y'all. Could have got him a pink one. There's yeah. your sister. Said hello, little brother. Hey, Emery. I love the way that, I'm serious, y'all. I've been dying to do this for a couple of weeks now. All right, last one. Yeah, it's tater bugging time. All right, and there's our cross. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I love it. Okay, now let me see. This one, this one I had to kind of figure out first. So this is where we're going to use our chains from the Dollar Tree. If you go and uh, buy that, that set that I showed you right here, over in, you know, the spring planning section, they always have these, I think. Um... You're gonna take it apart. Let me go on and I'll show you what I did with this one. But I wanted you to see the package. This is what you're looking for. Okay, and you're gonna take off this hook at the top. I'm just gonna bend this back a little bit and pull that, pull that chain, all three. There's gonna be three different chains and pull this little hook off. And then you're gonna take off, they have these little clips at the end. Just remove those. <laughs> Jody, you needed something to hunt? I've got a list. I have a list of things. And it's so exciting when you finally find it. This one, I was so excited because I knew I could do this, finally do this with y'all. Christy, thank you so much. You're so generous and sweet. Okay, so she counted down five links, one, two, three, four, five. Curl it around, and then you're gonna pull this little link open right here, and slide this one on here, and close it back up. So, all it does is make this loop right there at the top. I do too, Debbie. I do too. I need to stop buying and get some of these projects that I've already got going done. I did finish a few last week. So I did one ahead of time to be sure I could do it. So we've got these two. We're going to need six, mm -mm, eight of these. So you're, you're going to get almost enough out of one packet. You're going to need a little bit of another packet. Oh, forgot to tell you this part. This is how long the chain, the chain is when you take the S hook off and the little other little hooks. Bend it in half and take this extra link out. So we're just gonna open that up and take that link out. I hope this works. I, I hope it works because I'll be so upset if I do it wrong. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go down here. 
and loop that. Oh, I wish you would, Debbie. I would love to see them. And we just get, to, I'll tell you, I enjoy seeing what y'all do so much that, um, and y'all give me so many great ideas. Yesterday, Carrie Pollock posted this little puzzle that she had done and framed for her daughter. She put a pretty uh, floral on it. Um, and I loved it so much that I made my own. There it is back there. Because it was my colors. It just jumped out at me. I did my, Gerald made the frame for me. Um, and so I just went on and painted it with white chalk paint and then used a little of that uh, Waverly Antique Wax to distress it. And uh, they come in this little tube and they're at TJ Maxx. And I am a puzzle nut. I love to work puzzles and I don't let myself start them usually only once a year and that's after Christmas. I take a week off and I get to do as many puzzles as I want because if I start one right now, I will sit in there at that table and obsess over it until it's done. I have so much fun doing them. So. Did you really, Anne-Marie? Uh, yeah, I had, I just got, I have to get some of these out of here, especially if they're Easter. I need to do them and either use them in the house or I need to get them to my booth. So that's what I, I usually do with them. But, you know, you can only keep so much stuff. All right. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, what else did I see that um, just really inspired me? To, um, there was that one. But anyway, I get so much inspiration from the things y'all post and do over there. Is that big enough? think so there was another one I think I'm trying to remember what what it was but I mean I had to run out to TJ Maxx I also <laughs> I also had to buy the giraffe puzzle I haven't done it yet but it's I just loved it I know Elizabeth will love that one but um they're so little and you think oh that's so easy if they're not easy and uh, don't let the size fool you. I mean, doesn't take, I sat down here for a couple of hours and did it. I usually start a puzzle on the outside edge and go in, work in. I had, yeah, Elizabeth, I knew you'd love that. Um, okay, so now let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've got to go to, that's where why we needed one more of these. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. Take out this middle. Oh, okay, okay, Lynn. You'll get to fast forward through all of this and just watch the the end result. I'm glad your friend's getting out of the hospital. I've heard about those on the iPad. I'm, af I'm afraid I'll, if I start that, no telling what's going to happen. Now, why is that one bigger? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did I? I must have gone. Hold, excuse me. Hold, please. Let me see what I did here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, y'all, that could be bad. So that's going to have one. I don't care. I'm going to I'm going to do it this way and we'll see how it works. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If there's a way to mess something up, I'll do it every time. Oh, Heidi, I love that. I put all of my puzzles in a wheelbarrow. Oh, wow. That's a great idea. That's so cool. You don't come up with great ideas. I think that's going to work on mine. You sit over here for now. 
One, two, three, four, five. I may have to make one more. Y'all, I didn't know it would take this long. I thought I had so much already done. How did we, we got up to 148? What? That's fantastic. One of these days for my page, I wanna, I wanna see that 200 up there. That would be so great. Okay. All right. So because Lindy messed one up, well, let me just do one more so, so it's right, hopefully. Yes, I will, Rita. Let me let me pull this out and I'll show you because it was uh, Carrie Pollock posted it in our group and I just it spoke to you know it jumped out because it was my colors and a saying that I love and I wanted it for my studio. Um, so we were headed out that way. We're running errands yesterday and I ran in that TJ Maxx that I I don't ever go in there. I forget about it and it's right by Michaels. I could have spent what? Uh, I think I'm. I think I did something wrong, but I think it'll work out. I have to mess something up. They're gonna get the gist of it, though. They'll be able to. Do it. <laughs> I figured. Um, Jane, that was not easy. I had to go to the back of the store where you find all the accessories and like seasonal, um, seasonal things. It was in, there's candles and frames and um, there was a whole little section of these little puzzles that I love. You know, I've had one in my, uh, I have found one, y'all, I found one. This is one that I had made with my painting on it. Um, so, yeah, I, I found that. They come in these great little tubes. They work out four by six. And um, I just kind of copied what I saw Carrie did, hers is uh, raw wood, and I just chalk painted mine and distressed it a little bit. And she had beautiful flowers on hers, um, which I haven't done. I may still do. I don't know. And I loved that she put it in crooked. But let me tell you about this little puzzle, if y'all get it. Uh, work it on a piece of wax paper, and you'll thank me, because the pieces don't stay together well. And when you go to um, seal it, Mod Podge it, yeah, it'll come right apart. So I started with um, with a paintbrush, my, my Mod Podge brush, and it just started lifting right up. So then I tried to do my finger, uh, -uh stuck to my fingers, and I sat there and th thought, what am I going to do? How do I get this little puzzle sealed and glued together? So... I got out our handy-dandy silicone thing we use for the hot glue to hold the hot glue down. It worked like a charm. I just got the Mod Podge on that and lightly went over it and let it just run down so that this morning I could just peel it off of the wax paper. And it was in one piece. I flipped it over and I did the back and put it right in that frame. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, those are from TJ Maxx. I am looking into doing another run of my puzzles because y'all seem to want to. These are a little bit more expensive. I have to buy in bulk, but I'm trying to figure out how many I could order to get y'all the best price, but not be stuck with like a thousand puzzles myself. So I didn't know if I would use an, a new, like my cardinal painting or something to do a puzzle, but y'all, when I put it out there, y'all seem to really like that idea. So I need to get on that too. It's playtime, y'all. I'm sorry. They have had their supper, and so there's a wild German shepherd in my house. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't think that's... Is that going to fit on my... It is. It's going to be just fine. It's going to be fine. Now, all we've got to do is get out the glue gun. I'm going to run a little hot glue right here on the back. Have your loop up at the top of course. Let me get my little thing so I don't burn myself stupid. There we go. And we're going to hold that down there for just a second and glue that chain down. Now let's, so it doesn't look awful on the back. Here he's coming through again. Blast out the doggy door. <laughs> Here it is right in front of me. I'm just going to cut a little piece of Oh 
my life. Little bit of ribbon, this pretty ribbon here. <laughs> oh, would you, Sandy? Uh, the ones at um, TJ Maxx, I will tell you, let's see, where's my sticker on it? They are $4.99. Um, mine were 12, but I will say this about that, and I'm not just saying this because, you know, it's the company I used. Uh, the quality was much better. I mean, those those uh, puzzle pieces stick together well on the on the one that I did from Micro Puzzles. Thank you, Carrie. I didn't know you were here. Did you see I did it? And I gave you credit. This was all you. I love it. Yes, you did. Thank you. Good. I just love, I, I was telling them, you know, I get s some great ideas from y'all. So, I'm always watching and uh, seeing what y'all are creating and posting. Would you, Judy? Okay, so, hi, Cindy. So, maybe do the, the cardinal, huh? It's on um, a hem, a vintage hem page. And uh, it's like one of my, my biggest block sellers. My cardinals always do well, but... Um, that's one of my little minis, and I think it would work up well for a um, a little mini puzzle, and then you could frame it. Okay, okay, Sandy, thank you. You know, it's it is a you know a custom piece, and I get why they have to charge that. And and of course, the more you order, the less expensive they are. So I just loved doing those. And I, that's the only one I've done is the birds. So again, I am just gluing this down. I don't think I did that one very well, but that's okay. Now let's let that cool. Cool a second. Because we want it to set. Ideally, you're gonna, um, you're probably gonna let have to let this one sit before we can hang it up but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look so here's where we are we've got our be still and we're gonna have this chain hanger at the top you know Opa I um, I may have to do I may do that I may I just won't have a picture of the um, I could put them in the shop I'll, th I'll put some thought to that. I will. Debbie, we have several cardinal blocks in our shop. Taterbuggin.myshopify.com. If you look under wood block prints and just scroll through, I've got th at least three. I may have four different cardinals on different hems and different styles. So, let me set this one over to the side. Now... This was my crepe myrtle stick that I, <laughs> that I got. So what I'm gonna do, just so I don't keep y'all, it's been an hour, I'm gonna hang all four along here from that chain and hang it on the wall. And I just love the idea of using a, a branch, a, a stick from your yard um, to hang these. And can't you just see it? If you get tired of what's in there, Take it out and put your grandkids' pictures in them. You know, all your grandbabies all along there. Add to it. If you want to add and have six, you can do six. If you want to change it with the seasons, if you, you know, however, I can just see this done so many different ways. And all you have to do is pop the back out and change your little four by four. And they'll all, let me see, hopefully it's stuck good now all hang in a row just like that how great is that now like i said it yes betty you could have you could put anything you want on these and i just think it's such a beautiful decor piece um she also mentioned that you could use the white mop handle from dollar tree i have one over there but I, it's it's the branch that did it for me with this this cute little frame, and the versatility of it, and how you can change it out. 
so, you know, so many times. And I think it'll go with any decor. You make it go with your decor. If you want to paint these frames, whatever color you want to paint them, you can do it. But I just love this idea and I needed to share it with y'all. And again, you can watch White Sparrow Living. This was her idea. She comes up with some great things. She's on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to finish this out. I'm going to get the rest of the chains on and hung up and send, I mean, I'll post a picture so y'all can see it when I get it all finished. And I'm going to probably, I'm, I'm thinking of keeping this. So, um, but I may do another one just to put in my booth because I love it so much. So, hey, Amanda, there's Amanda from Amanda Made is here, sweet friend. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so that's what I brought to y'all today. And it was a total copycat thing, but um, you needed to see it. I had to share it. It was just one of those things I loved so much that I had to tell y'all about it. So there's that. And let's talk for a minute. What do y'all think? What do you, um, so puzzles, we're going to look into puzzles. Um, I'll try to, I'll try to get those in the shop. We just got two new pieces in the shop yesterday that you can order. I'm going to get up again. I know I don't have my shoes on today. We've got this leaning cross that will come, let me sit it here, come stained and hand painted. You'll have your choice of four sayings on it. And we have this kit. It's a triple cross kit. They're going to come to you um, disassembled and raw wood and you can finish it out. Oh, thank you, Tony. I love Labriska. She's, I'm so happy to be a part of this group of ladies. They're the, the Simple, Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. I just love them all. So, and you can finish this out however you want to and stack it however you want to. But this is one of my favorite pieces that he does. How am I going to hook it to the stick? That's what the, where are you? You know, when we took the chains down and we made the loops at the top, it's going to slide onto the stick. I'll probably put a dot of hot glue, you know, but I think once you have them situated the way you want them um, evenly on there, they'll probably stay because it's a stick. Or you just do a little dot of hot glue. Oh, thank you, Amanda. You're so sweet. Betty, I'd be more than happy to. Yes, absolutely. Rebecca, it's, oh, you've got to come. Southern Vintage Company is in Bartlett at the corner of Quail Ridge and um, Egypt Central. The address is, I said, it's the shops of Quail Ridge. It's 4210 Alturia. We'll get you right there. Um, and the tent sale, the huge tent sale, it's the anniversary sale uh, of the store. They're seven years old. It's a big store now. And, um, they have so much stuff. We have over 80 vendors right now. And so March 27th would be a good day to swing in from Oakland because it's, it's going to be fun. The size of the little puzzle is it works out to a four by six. And uh, yeah, it's four by six and there are a hundred pieces. And let me tell you y'all, uh, group questions. Yes, when you want to join our tater bug and sweet tater bugs, there are two questions. And you have to answer those two questions for our moderators to let you into the group. So it really helps. You just have to follow Tater Bug and, and agree to the simple rules to be nice to each other. That's it. Um, so if you just answer those two questions, that would be great. Let me show you the size of these puzzle pieces. Look how little. And like I said, these from TJ Maxx, I mean, I love. They're great. But just be sure to work them on something like I, I got a piece of wax paper because they don't hold together very well. Now, I had great luck with mine, and they really fit together well. I didn't have that problem. I worked mine on a piece of cardboard, and I Mod Podged it, stuck a magnet on the back, and it's on the side of my fridge. I should have brought that in here to show it to you all finished up so you'd get an idea, but you saw it with that one. It's and This one was just my little birds. I didn't think I had any more of these, and I just found this the other day. 
and was so excited. So I think what we're going to do is give away. This will be a gift. I can't say that word. I forget. There's Facebook words I can't say. But it'll be a gift soon in one of my lives. So be watching. I would like to say it'll be part of a, you know, when I hit 10,000 followers. But I got a long way to go. That's my next goal. So I earned my stars. I'm happy enough. Um, 4210 Alchuria, Patty. You want one of the birds? Okay. You know what? More puzzles mean more button holders. You've got to tell me about that. I wish you would, Rebecca. Um, how did you attach chains to the back of the frame? Oh, that's okay. Simple, simple. Let me show you. I, it's just a, a, some hot glue right here. Lay one of those links of chain down. And then I just covered it up with a piece of ribbon, burlap ribbon. I just glued that on top of it to just so you don't see all that hot glue. Um, so I'll look into, I'm, I may do another run on the, uh, the little birds, but I definitely want to do the cardinal. So I'll work on that tonight, y'all. And if I can figure out a way, I will go on and just put them in the shop for a pre-order. If y'all don't mind waiting for them, that would, that would be better. I think. Oh, the tube, Barb. It's, it, they look almost exactly like that yeah but they're actually these are glass with a cork that i ordered they're actual test tubes so just a little bit different size but yeah these would make great button holders too that's so funny that you uh, okay always nice to see you cindy thank you okay betty this has been so much fun I've had a blast. I've had this one. I've got I've got a couple more that I'm itching to do like this. So get ready. Um, but thanks to to those of you who had to sit through me twice today when you were in my class. But um, I just love y'all, and I'll be back Tuesday at four Central Time. So uh, I hope you'll join me then. I'm not sure yet what we're gonna do that day, but I'll figure it out. So y'all just enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm gonna go on and finish this up so I can post a picture and get busy getting those puzzles on in the shop so y'all can order. That will be fantastic. Uh, thank y'all, thank y'all for the stars. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everything y'all do. So anyway, have a good evening, enjoy your supper, all that good stuff, and I will see you online and on Tuesday. Bye y'all, love you.